Right, grade 11s and grade 12s, welcome back. We are in part two. In part one of our HTML series, we went through creating the structure. Um, we put in our HTML tags. We put in our head tags. We put in our body tags. We typed in some text just so it can reflect there. And we created a title which is reflecting up over there. Okay, so this is why when you see uh, when you open up a new tab in your browser, for example, and it comes up with new tab, just remember that there is a certain amount of coding that actually goes into that displaying as the term new tab. Okay, let's let's go and do a few things. So first of all, you'll see, even though we type in, in our text here in the body, um, we have the text all the way up to the top of the actual website. So when we are in Word, what do we usually do when we want to move text down? we would press the enter button um, in coding it's going to be you know, in html it's going to be a little different we need to put in a tag um, that is labeled as such that is br forward slash so we open our tags or we'll open the tag br forward slash um, close the tag and please remember you will be getting these tags as a tag sheet let's save that and let's refresh Oh, and see what it does? It moves it down one space. So basically this tag is what we call a line break. So it's breaking the line at that point and moving things down. So let's say I want to move the text down a few spots. Um, I can go and copy and paste these tags next to one another or underneath one another, whatever you are you know, happy with, whatever makes you feel most comfortable. We're going to click save, we're going to go over and we're going to click refresh. And there you can see our text is moved down the same number of spaces or the same number of lines as the number of breaks. So if I've got one, two, three, I've got five breaks over here, it means that on this side, in my website, the text is going to move down five lines. All right. Then another one we're going to put in um, under the body. I just want to move this around. I'm going to use a tag called um, hr and i'll show you why hr forward slash closed remember i said to you there are certain exceptions when it comes to these tags so here you can see your hr and your br have sort of a built-in close um, tag to it so it's just one tag that opens and closes now when i go file save and i go refresh have a look at what's on top there there is a horizontal line that's displayed. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. And how do I do that? I'm going to use my BR tag. So I'm going to use that maybe twice. I'm actually going to put in some text above that. Welcome to my website. Here we go right file save refresh welcome to my website and there's the horizontal line and what you'll see is that it goes all the way across the screen now i hope you are taking note of the way i'm doing the coding in that um i'll do each piece or each little section that i want to do so like let's say for example i want to put in hr i'll put it in i'll save it and then refresh now the reason i do that um, for me, it's just simpler so that I can track any problems I have as I go along. Um, I would imagine that if you do everything at once and you pick up a problem in your website, you might not know where to go and look. So it is advisable. Do it one step at a time. Save it. Refresh the site. See that it works. And then you know that that's done. Okay. But let's say, for example, in my HR, um, we're going to be able to add what we call attributes. So attributes will be things that we can add to make our line look better. We can reduce the width, we can add a color, we can do all those wonderful things, all right? But we're not gonna get into that now. So here now, remember we've added some more text, we've put in some line breaks, uh, we've brought in a horizontal line, and the biggest thing that I'm going to do now is inside the body. So inside this tag, I can add different attributes as well. Uh, one of the most famous ones is BG color. Now, the reason I say color is because we now have to speak American English. <laughs> okay, so please don't spell it like we normally spell it, like color. <laughs> okay, C-O-L-O-U-R. It does take American English. Um, so like the Americans can, if you don't, 
you won't. Okay, um, you're not going to get it right if it, if uh, you don't spell it correctly or like a, like you can see incorrectly. Okay, so you'll see that after the inside the body tag, I've put in a space. I've typed in BG, which stands for background, and then color. And then we're going to go equals, and I'm going to open inverted commas, and I'm just going to say, let's make it yellow. Okay, so all I have done in this tag is to add what I mentioned earlier, something called an attribute. Okay, this yellow will pertain only to the background of the body. All right, so what do we do? We go file, we go save, we refresh our site, and whoo! We got a yellow site. <laughs> Looks like, uh, yeah, a certain cell phone brand. Anyway, um, so yes, we can change this to whatever we want to, and I would advise that you play around with it um, so that you do get a good understanding of that. But you can see, again, it's just there. My site is blue. Um, that's just the BG color, the background tag. You will be asked to do this. You will be asked to change these things. Um, and that is our second section or second video in our HTML series.